the second one. All right. This is the white truck for F-150 entering the car wash. Right about here. That's off the roller right there. That's when he hit the. You see the brakes. Yep, that's him and, popping a roller. And see, he's hitting the brakes right there. And that's my white car right here. That's when my car hit his. That's the employee going to see what the driver did in the white F-150. And this is when he went to go get another, is that the manager? No, it's just another employee. Another employee? I think uh, the manager was on duty, was at lunch. At six? Yeah, particularly <laughs> lunch. Okay. And that's, that's him looking at my car and his truck. And that's them trying to get the truck out of there. I had to hop back over those rollers that he dumped. So there'd be the rollers between you and him. Camera still going?
And this is when he comes up to me and tells me, hey, man, y'all cars hit each other. What's his name? Octavius is his name. Octavius is his name. And he's explaining to me everything that happened. Because I couldn't get out the car. Because where I come in, on the left side, it was something that was blocking the door and you can't open it. Yeah. So I couldn't even get out to go look at that exact moment. Yeah, I mean, and more so, I, I wouldn't want you to get out. It's a liability to us for you guys to get out in the tunnel. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's better that you didn't, really. Okay. And the way we treat these things, I mean, that's that's something that we have no control over, whether he hits his brakes or not. I mean, uh -huh. he was loaded up correctly and everything was good to go. And you can see in the video that he hit his brakes you know, halfway into the tunnel. So, uh, basically, when I've had this, this type of situation happen before, um, I treat it, uh, well, I tell the people involved to treat it just like a car accident, just like it happened out here in the parking lot or right. out on the street. I mean, basically, you know. Because you, ha you have the extra footage, like, in the, in the vacuum area? Uh -huh. You have footage well, out the, there? The vacuum area is pretty iffy. Our cameras out there don't work very well. But uh, Because I, when I was looking at, trying to look at, to see damages, he drove off. Yeah, and uh, you know, as long as you got his uh, license plate number, you know, if he drove off, um, basically, what you, you know, as far as I understand, what you want to do is you want to file a police report about it. If you're going to do it through insurance, okay, you have to file a police report about it. Yeah, so I once I, you file I, a police report about it, you got his his tag and everything, and just let them know, you know, you couldn't contact him because he left before you, you get any information from. Him. Right. And uh, you know, at that point, I believe that the police will contact him and be like, you know. This is going on, and then, and then at that point, the two insurance companies will start talking to one another, and pretty much everywhere, you know, you guys step back and let the insurance companies duke it out. But I mean, it's pretty blatant. Uh, you know, like I said, it, if it was a malfunction in our equipment, then we'd be liable for it. But he's loaded properly. You can see him hit the brakes. You can see him hop over the rollers. Uh, and there's nothing in the tunnel that would indicate to anyone in their right mind that they need to hit the brakes. You know, the ramps come around the front, but that's that's the car wash. That's what it does. Correct. So, uh, you know, as far as that goes, you know, I mean, he's the one at fault because he hit the brakes for no apparent reason. Um, and like I said, it's not something that we can control as far as that goes. So, okay, I believe he, I believe he's pulled out at this point. No, nah, if you can, I would. Ford or he's up, up in front of you a little bit, maybe. And this is when they resume the, the wash. And during this wash, like some of the soap got somehow inside my car. But my um, <laughs> my sunroof wasn't up. And you know, it, it didn't have nothing to do with the car wash because... I come here. I come here every day and wash my car. All right, all right. Every day, I got y'all little forty-five dollar unlimited, thing, unlimited yeah. thing. So I come every day. And that sums up that part. Yeah, I feel um, like we're gonna pause it. We'll see if I can find any other. If I got no, another I'm not. I'm not gonna pause it because I don't want them to think I like oh, okay, try yeah, to yeah, edit no, it. No, so that's fine. That's fine. Right. I, I got. Yeah, I keep I'm, everything right here. I'm so shut this down real quick because we can't see anything else there. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, this will give me a better idea as well. It's going to show even better. Well, this is so. This is the next setup. So okay. this is you know he was all most of the way through this cloth and he was coming into the second set of wraps there. That should be him. That's him right, right there.
All right, yeah, that's him right there. What does that mean? Yes. And you can see right here once again. Yeah, he's got the brakes on right there. He hit the brakes. And that's what my car hit his. Alright, so that's pretty much all you're going to see there. You're going to see them messing with him to get him out of there. Let me, uh, let me look at, let me pause this for a second. Let me look at another angle. Let's see if we have an, uh, another angle we can look at. Okay. So. Can they show right here how long it took him to come in? Yeah, This is him entering. <coughs> and there I go, back there, <laughs> about to get ready to pull in. Crazy. We would have been here like. Three minutes three later, minutes, three th minutes before, it never would have happened. Never would have. <laughs> and probably if you would have pulled in the other, was the other lane closed? Yeah, the other lane was closed. Yeah, I heard problems with the bill return or something. Because uh, one of the guys said he thought he smelled alcohol on him. But no, you mean, can't, but yeah, there's but, no way to prove that. Yeah, exactly. Point. Yeah, ain't no way to prove that. But I mean, even, you know, even if you can't get, you know, get that, I mean, it's still pretty blatant that he just hit the brakes. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I mean, that, that's, that's essentially just like if he was. You were following him in a parking lot, and he slammed on the brakes. You know that kind of deal. So uh, the, 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 the police, and the ones that I've dealt with in the past, the police deal with it just like an accident. You know, basically, a lot of times they're going to be solved through the insurance companies. You know, his insurance company will pay to get your car fixed. That kind of deal, and it's pretty simple for everybody involved, as long as they don't try to. All right, and this is him pulling up. Normally, it takes like 10 seconds yeah, to get inside the um, car wash. Yeah, let me, uh, I got another shot of that. All right. So, we can see here what happened as far as one way to get down.
something. Because they tried about, about five times. I was about to get out of my car and ask them, do they want me to drive it in for them? <laughs> I was patient, just to know what was going on. Yeah, I think you was. You gotta go back more, huh? No, I mean that was uh, that was pretty much him pulling in, but. That's what the problem was. You can see he's already doing it. He's hitting the brakes right there, uh, or he's either got it in park or he's on the, on the brake because that's when you see it come up. That's uh -huh. that's the rollers going up underneath the tire, and it's going to happen here in a minute, probably up underneath the front ones as well. I just got him in with that one. I got one one behind him, I guess. All right. Yeah. So right there, that's that's. I mean, he did the same thing here that he did in the middle of the tunnel. He just hit the brakes. And can you go back way. like two minutes? Sure. On, on this one? Yes. Like two. Like two. Like two or three minutes. So that's one minute and two minutes. One more. Okay. Play that one. Because what I'm telling you, it took him a while. So he came in and out. Yeah, because he could he couldn't get his truck on on the conveyor. That's why on the other screen, on the other view, what right. we were looking at before, you could see it. Okay, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. Like he was coming right here, and they tell him to back up. They came so close to my car one time, I had to, had to slam on the... Here, let me, I'll tell you what, you're not really going to see much, but when he was actually loaded in there here. Let All right. Let me uh, pull up another one. All right. This one right here, well, you'll be able to see him going back and forth here. Yeah, perfect. Cause I told them that they are oh, you can play it right there. Cause I told them that they switched drivers. Cause at first it was a woman driving, then she couldn't get it, so it was a male that got out and tried. goes to truck. On the backup, so they can try it again. You know, it's, some people have to. It's so. too far up on the rail. Sometimes we can just have it turn the wheel and it'll pop them off the rail. But if they had to have it back up, it was too far on the rail to uh, to get down in there. And there I go behind them. on the back up could have had to do it again. Let's 
so I back up also. Backing up far as I can, you know. Try it again. And they had to back up again. And this is when the woman gets out of the car and switch with the male driver. And he's telling him to back up once again. And I can't really back up either much further. And he's coming back. And he's going to retry again. And I believe this is when they finally get it right. Going through right now, correct? About so. Yeah, I think we're going to go forward at that point. All yeah. right. Yeah. Is there where you can fast forward until when we get over here? Because uh, we should, this should be a good angle. Yeah, it's his white truck right here. Oh, you you can you can start it when he gets there, cause I still have to come out. Oh, that was the car after me. Yeah. Pull up right over here as soon as it happens. 
Yeah, I put off on the left of him. Probably won't be able to see me. Did you pull, actually pull into a vacuum spot there? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's probably can't see it now. I'm backing up some more. So I'll be able, I'll be able to see it coming down to it, but uh, not while you're in it. Okay. So he's just now pulling into it. You should be right behind him. <laughs> Yeah, because they just remember they just drove him out of the tunnel. Oh, that's right. And that's I still, right. yeah, they just drove him out. They got him out of there. <laughs> and I still had to finish my wash. Mm hmm. So they had already swapped back drivers by the time they got down to the yep. tunnel. Yep, they, they tried to swap back. Well, not really tried, they did, so. Should be coming out anytime soon. Yeah, right. I had him out a little bit before y'all. Should have put you on. 